So the official release of Android 15 has just come out and I've installed it on my Pixel device. While it features some minor changes, I thoroughly enjoy the overall Pixel experience. To explore this further, I wanted to conduct a close side-by-side -side comparison with one of my favorite Android implementations, Nothing OS 3.0, which I have installed as a beta on my Nothing Phone 2A. One of the most significant changes in Nothing OS 3.0 is the ability to customize each toggle in the quick settings. You can now adjust the size and layout of any toggle to your liking. Additionally, the quick settings interface features a white background in light mode and a dark background in dark mode, though it still doesn't achieve true AMOLED black. In stock Android 15, it's pitch black, even when in light or dark mode. I've become accustomed to this and I actually wish that Nothing OS had the option to leave the quick settings in dark mode no matter what. On stock Android, we don't get the option to resize the quick toggle, but we do get options to reorganize them. So I would say Nothing OS takes the lead in that aspect. Both Nothing OS and stock Android allow users to change the clock styles on the lock screen. However, Android 15 offers more clock options, though I find them to be somewhat lackluster. In contrast, Nothing OS provides fewer choices, but I find them to be more visually appealing. The animation for locking the screen is significantly better on stock Android 15. One of the standout features of Android on Pixel phones is the exceptional animations. For instance, the dial pad showcases delightful shapes that enhance the Android-friendly Pixel aesthetic of the user interface. Nothing OS has provided the ability to add lock screen widgets since day one, and this feature is one of its greatest strengths about the OS I truly love. With the 3.0 update, you can now completely remove the clock and expand the widget area, offering even more customization options. Both Nothing OS and stock Android offer lock screen shortcuts, but neither allows you to open any app directly from the lock screen, which would be a fantastic addition. On the home screen, one of the worst things about stock Android on Pixel phones is that you cannot take off the at a glance widget. The most important screen on your smartphone is the home screen. This is what you're going to look at the most and the fact that you can't take off that widget is just horrible in my opinion. Nothing OS definitely one ups stock Android in that aspect. Also in Nothing OS you could change the app icon straight from the stock launcher and you don't have to download a third party launcher to do so. With the Android 15 update, you can now pair apps and keep them together on your home screen. If you frequently use two apps in split screen, you can now combine them into a single icon on the home screen. Nothing OS doesn't have the ability to do this, but in the app drawer with the new update, you can now pin apps that you frequently use to the top of the app drawer. And you can also use a new setting called smart drawer where the phone automatically puts your apps in categories. Android 15 introduces a private space feature that appears at the bottom of your app launcher. You can even use a different Google account for the apps within this private space, making it an excellent option for those who want to maintain discretion. In contrast, Nothing OS offers hidden spaces that can be accessed by swiping left, but it doesn't provide the same level of security and privacy settings as stock Android. Android is now in its mature stages, and while we no longer see the major changes and updates we used to a few years ago, the smaller incremental updates are perfectly fine with me as Android offers a fantastic user interface. Nothing OS is one of my favorite implementations of Android. It adheres closely to the principles of stock Android while also introducing valuable customization options. I hope they continue to stay true to this approach in the future. All right, that wraps up the video. If you're in the market for a great yet affordable phone, be sure to check out my reviews of the Nothing Phone 2 and the Pixel 6 after the Android 15 updates. Thumbs if you liked the video, subs if you loved it. I'll talk to y'all later.